chapter 7, we'll, we'll see the passage about Melchizedek. Because we know that Jesus Christ is referred to as being a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. And some of these oneness people, I, I'm curious who they think Melchizedek even is or was because the Bible says that he is without father and without mother. Who is Melchizedek? Who is this guy? I know what I believe. I believe this is an appearance of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament when he went to met Abraham. That's what I believe. I mean, the Bible says that no man hath seen God at any time, talking about God the Father, because you can't see God the Father and live for His glory. But you know what? A lot of people have seen the Son. That's what we have the New in the New Testament. That's what the Gospels are. They're witnesses. People have witnessed and their hands have handled of the Word of Life. That's what they're explaining. I, we, they've seen the Son. You, you have people that are so blinded that they'll tell you that, oh, no one's ever seen this. No one's ever seen Jesus. Like, what? It, like, I, when someone says that, that ought to be enough for you. If you've ever had any questions on the Trinity, you hear some things, you hear people bringing up some confusing verses. If that same person says, no one's ever seen Jesus, that ought to be enough for you to say, Bye-bye, I'm not going to listen to a word you have to say anymore because that is insane and ridiculous and God must have to really cloud up their understanding to some just extraordinary measure for someone to say that no one has ever seen Jesus and actually believe that. That is ridiculous. The whole reason why we believe on Jesus is because there's witnesses. There are witnesses to what he did and what he said and who he was. insanity Hebrews 7 let's look at Melchizedek Hebrews chapter 7 verse number 1 the Bible reads for this Melchizedek king of Salem priest of the most high God who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all first being by interpretation king of righteousness and after that also king of Salem which is king of peace and it goes on further to describe Melchizedek. Verse number three, without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like unto the Son of God, abideth a priest continually. The Bible says that Melchizedek was made like unto the Son of God. He was made like unto the Son of God in Abraham's day, before Jesus was born. And what's interesting also it says he's without not only without father but without mother. The oneness people will turn to look at this verse and say, "Oh, see, he's without father. So how can he be the Son of God? If he doesn't have a father, then how can he be the Son?" Obviously, this is talking about physically on this earth. On this earth, when Melchizedek was walking around and met Abraham and, and, you know, blessed him, he was not born into this world. He was just there. See, they try to use this as, oh, it's saying, like, if this was Jesus, but he doesn't have a father because he is the father or whatever. But what about without mother? Obviously, this is talking about he didn't have a father or a mother because he didn't physically, he wasn't physically born in this earth. When he showed up on the scene, he was just there for who knows how long, but he was there on this earth um, for this purpose, to meet Abraham and to bless him. And he has neither beginning of days nor end of life and abideth a priest continually. <clears throat> 